got in. What just happened? Um. Um. Whoa. Ha! We lagging, boys. Oh, we lagging. Here we go. We're in. I want to buy anything for. Oh, it's a Midas sword. That's funny. Started it right off with a Midas. Oh, crap. Look at that. 52 Midas. <laughs> this guy's not taking any crap. He's like, nope, that's my Midas. Get out of here. Hmm. Hmm. Now that I like. I will take it. That is mine. Thank you very much. No! No! Uh. Mm. Oh, okay, we got a we got a troll. If I had 300k more coins, I could have got it. What the hell? Why are you paying five mil for a freaking growth six buck? Oh, I hate the dark auction. I hate it so much. You spent five mil on a dark. Ah! It's so annoying. I might as well try and get a flower minion. I don't know. I just want that stupid talisman. Yeah. Nah, I can't afford it already. Yes. Yes. It ha <laughs> Finally, I'm gone. Bye. Ah. Oh. That took so long. It was like a whole hour for one summoning on. Now we are going to do something, anything else, honestly. Oh my God. Have at a chat. Uh, Spider Talisman, the max I'll take from is 200K. Summoning on the max I'll take is 600K. 644. There's mine. 630. Oh yeah, look at that. They are all going for like 644. Fine, I'll take that. <laughs> that should be more than enough at that point. Oh, whoops, I got two stacks. Okay, that's more than enough. We're good. So I can go like this. Portal to the deep caverns. Nice. All right, so we got those three. Now we need the portal to... Uh, portal to the... Blazing Fortress. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I find that funny. Deep caverns, the gold mine don't need a port oh here we go blazing fortress oh that's easy too okay cool yeah let's go there portal to the blazing fortress nice so now we need the spooder one uh that probably be in combat string or not portal to the spider's den that's pretty easy too portal to spider's den let's actually build our portal area yeah, let's make the floor out of birch wood and the walls out of I don't know. Uh and then we can do andesite and then we'll decorate around each portal. How about that? Okay, so right here is gonna be our portal room. I'm gonna put it way down at the bottom so that we don't have to hear all of the portal noises. Put down the end portal right here. Damn, look at that. Oh, I could have placed it a block. Okay, hold on. Oh, this won't give you back the portal block. What a scam. Oh, that's annoying. You know what? We'll work with that. Yeah, look at that portal room. It's not fully like realized yet. You know, it's still kind of ugly in some spots, but I like it. It's functional. Now I can get places. So that, that's all that really matters for now. We built the portal room. I mean, technically I could figure out the minion situation. Would anyone be mad if I just made like a platform in like the corner of the map, like over there and just put all the minions on it? <laughs> because like, <laughs> The minions 
need a flat space to be efficient. So then we're going to change destination to white and boom. Nice. Now we're going to rename this one Minions. Diamond Spreading, Super Compactor, Budget Hopper, Enchanted Lava Bucket. And then we do that for the same or do the same for the other ones. If you max this account, would you make a new one? Well, there's the minions, or the min <laughs> There's the hermit's profile, which is what I meant to say. I'd probably play a lot on that, but maxing out any profile shouldn't really be possible in the short term. Then we can get rid of the clay. Luckily, I built everything properly at the time. So I'm not gonna have to worry about uh, finishing the build because i already made sure that everything was made even though it was blocking the minions and having less efficiency and there we go once i put down these last two minions then the island is completely functional as well as fully built yeah look at that no more minions just roaming about done look at that <laughs> minion platform complete finally now i can put these back look at that and then we can work on our 24th minion slot at some point and then fill that spot hey guys i'm back for another video stream thing on hypixel skyblock and today i have something pretty epic to show you so um black screen anyways oh, oh my this is incredible so I'm going to let people pour into the stream for a bit. And in order to do that, we are going to get ready for our final Tarantula Broodfather Tier 4 boss before Spider-7. And I ain't going back to Spooders after that. Ugh. Oh, this process has been terrible. I saved you guys from having to watch all of that. But anyway, yeah, I've been doing a couple revs off camera as well. Here we go. So we're going to redeem that guy. And if we go to Tarantula Broodfather, I've learned a lot from farming tarantulas. One of those things being that if I can get the last hit on this boss, then it makes my tarantula easier. And I did not. Nice. Right, and once we're done with this, I'm going to craft two talismans. Well, actually, I'm going to craft one. One of them I'm just going to get. So at the end of this fight, we're getting a survivor cube. How much XP is it for level 7? I'm pretty sure you need a total of 100,000 Slayer XP. And you start off with 20,000. Is it 100,000? Maybe not. Well, I don't know. We're about to find out once I finish this. But anyway, I made a discovery. Revs are so much faster. Like, I got some speed pots, some spirit pots, um, and crit. And I did my two-fourths strong with tarantula helmet and pumpkin boots thing i was able to kill tier 4 revs with a revenant falchion in 15 seconds <laughs> and i would spawn it in a minute and 30 seconds so it'd be less than two minutes per kill and i spent probably a million coins just yesterday doing that and it took only like an hour and a half like i legit was like i could probably get tier 7 zombie in like a couple hours that's how fast it is i'm gonna ignore sven right now because that's gonna make me feel bad because <laughs> sven's are also pretty slow but we're not gonna worry about sven's right now we're we're going straight from spoother to zombie and zombie's gonna be a lot more fun trust me it, i actually kind of had fun doing zombie slayer just because of how fast it was all right, we're almost done. Here it is. The last Tarantula Broodfather. Let's go. This is it, chat. This is the last one. Die! Kill it with fire! Is that a guy in Golem armor? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Die, 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 please. I just want the Survivor Cube to myself. It's been so long. I want Spider-7. Why are you going for him? Stop! It's about to die. Yes. I got nothing special from that, but that's okay, because the special thing is about to happen. 
Ah, Spider 7. Yes. Wow. Oh my. Whoa. I like how it says noob. <laughs> so, Spider 7 permanent 1% crit chance. Ooh, I didn't know it was crit chance. Survivor Cube, Spider Artifact, Recipe, Mosquito Bell. Boom. Incredible. There it is. We got a permanent 1% crit chance. I did not foresee this. I thought it was crit damage. That is a pleasant surprise. And Survivor Cube. Heals are 5% more effective on you. That took so much work to get. I'm so freaking done with that Slayer. I am not killing another Tarantula. Although, I am kind of curious what happens when you get Tier 8 and Tier 9. So, let's go look at that. Uh, I got a Slayer to Tier 7, guys. Finally. Alright, let's take a look at what the rewards are. More to come? Really? There's going to be a Tarantula Tier 10? I hope not. Oh, wow. Look at that. Spider Slayer Tier 8. Permanent 3% crit damage, which is basically a red claw ring, by the way. And the perk is plus 100% alchemy XP. I would argue that's not that good. XP boost potions give you 20%. Uh, and then let's see. Oh, it doesn't even show you Tier 9 until you get Tier 8. I am not even bothering with that. I want to show you guys something. So as you can imagine, killing that many spiders i have a lot of uh i have a lot of stuff including uh tarantula web so like i'm pretty sure somewhere yeah there's some tarantula web right it's like this is a good amount yeah i got like two rows that's a lot uh but actually if i head over here three double chests full of tarantula web <laughs> <laughs> i have a lot so anyway oh also foul flesh is the thing i got 12 of it yesterday so anyway let's grab enough tarantula web okay i actually prepared the mats off camera i got 16 stacks of enchanted flint so here we go we're gonna take this we're gonna take this put it back we're gonna take that put it back just so we have room and let's craft ourselves some uh some webs let's make ourselves the spider artifact which only gives an additional plus five percent um damage reduction against spiders so that's fun tarantula silk anyway <laughs> i um some dude bid me up like 600k for a stack of enchanted emeralds and then i let him have it because he's actually insane so then i bought two stacks for 300k wasted my money but now at least we have the emeralds required for the spider artifact not really happy about that but it happened so whatever man boop 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 and spider artifact yeah uh and it was <laughs> wait what uh it only required half a stack of enchanted emerald i wasted so much money on that but yeah we're gonna get some crazy damage buffs from this itchy spider artifact it's too bad that this isn't a um epic accessory there's a reason why i'm going with itchy for most of these i would agree with you if it was like you know um something that wasn't strong armor also hold on i gotta get rid of a talisman here how did I get Tarantula 7? Lots of grinding. Look at this new talisman bag. Look at all this. Ah, oh, it's so good. The only talisman that's not on Itchy out of like all of these is these two godlies and this one's strong. I want to put all of them on Itchy at some point so I can redo the fire quest. Because, you know, um, I think it's Master Farmer. It'll give me a lot more health because of that crit damage. But, um, but yeah, man. I think it's time for some revs or something maybe i don't know but yeah that was that was cool let's test our damage actually without pots on like an enderman Forty-three thousand damage <laughs> ah, that's good